White House, 1963. The seas around us represent one of our most important resources. If vigorously developed, this resource can be a source. We don't say this resource can be a source. <laughs> I was the information officer for the squadron. We would handle uh, all the information that went off the base. Uh, then when the Kennedys were elected and started coming to Cape Cod, they uh, made me the liaison with the Kennedy White House. Pretty soon I was spending most of my time with the Kennedy White House rather than as information officer, but I held the, both those positions for about three years. Jackie Kennedy had had problems with previous pregnancies. If anything happened uh, that they needed a hospital, we were going to be the hospital that they brought her to. And we had about eight empty wards that were just sitting there. And so we decided to take one of these wards and uh, designate that as the ward that she'd be taken to. And we took regular Air Force furniture and uh, uh, cleaned it up, put the furniture in there, uh, did very little to fix it up. That was the extent of what we had done. I received a phone call one morning from a general in the Pentagon. He said, what are you doing up there? And of course, I didn't know what he was talking about. I said, about what? He said, well, haven't you read the Washington Post? I said, no, sir, we don't read the Washington Post up here. We read the Cape Cod Standard Times. <laughs> and uh, he said, well, then he proceeded to uh, read me a story and what had happened. A reporter had called up the night before and he got the medical officer of the day who happened to be a captain and he hadn't been in the Air Force for six months. Pretty soon when the story came out, we had bulletproof windows on the, the wards, wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. It made it sound real posh. Let's find out how much they spent on this thing. Uh, I mean, let's find out what they spent, where the money came from. Well, also, rundown of where if the bills have been paid, because a lot of the stuff we can just ship right back today. Right. I'll get ready. I'd love to send it right back to Jordan Marsh in the Air Force truck this afternoon with that captain on it. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about transferring his ass out of here in about a month? He doesn't uh, have any sense. For incompetence, not for screwing us. Exactly. Well, and I'm that silly fellow who had his picture taken next to the bed, I'd have him go up to Alaska, too. The PA will be talking to you about that. Right. Okay. okay. Never did, uh, never did see the story. Uh, uh, all I got was uh, uh, the general on the telephone reading it to me on the telephone. Because there was a picture of that story. President Kennedy saw that picture and he got a little upset. I have not seen that picture. Okay. No. This is the picture that ran with the story in the post. Oh no! <laughs> can, you, can you tell me who that gentleman in the picture is? <laughs> Honey, have you seen this? That is me. I did not know that they had, well, I can see why they get upset. General? Yes, sir. That Air Force is, boys itself, more grief with that silly bastard. Did you see the post this morning? Yes, sir. I'm looking. See that it. fellow's picture by the bed? Yes, sir. Are they, and you see that gun furniture they bought from Jordan Marsh? What the hell did they let the reporters in there for? Are they crazy up there? Now you know what's going to do. Any congressman's going to get up and say, Christ, if they can throw $5,000 away on this, let's cut them another billion dollars. You just sank the Air Force budget. You're crazy up there. Are they crazy? 
That silly bastard with his picture next to the bed? Uh, I'm uh, appalled, but, uh... Well, I'm appalled, too. Uh, now, the I thing is, I, the uh, thing of the matter is, I'm going to get that furniture. I just told Sylvester, and you can talk to him. I want to find out if we pay for that furniture, because I want it to go back to Jordan Marshall's. All right, sir. Huh? Then I want that fellow's incompetent who had his picture taken next to Mrs. Kennedy's bed, if that's what it is. I mean, he's a silly bastard. I wouldn't have him running a cat house. Christ, they're not all incompetent. Is that the way they're throwing money around over there? You better look into it, and especially when you told me that they hadn't spent it for that. Why, sir, this is uh, obviously... Uh... Well, this is obviously a fuck-up. That's, that's okay. Right. That's right. Right. All right. I'm the silly bastard, I guess, in the phone call. <laughs> I don't remember that picture being taken. I do remember showing the reporters through the the room there. I don't see how anybody can look at that picture and say that that is posh. And I don't know where the $5,000 came from or Jordan Marsh. I don't think Jordan Marsh carried anything like they had in the picture. I did not know that a picture existed with me uh, in it. But uh, with the reporters around, uh, with cameras around, uh, they get pictures that you don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what happened. in Alaska or anywhere else? No, no, never been stationed in Alaska. I could probably run it better than the U.S. government could. I think they took over a cat house uh, in uh, Nevada, didn't they? And it went bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs>